Hi, so welcome. So for this, uh, for this video, I'm going to cover this template with you, which I'm currently calling the basic storytelling template. The point of this template is to help you to structure your stories to relate with the audience. The audience is most likely an oral board panel, and you're telling these stories about yourself and why you're the best person for that position. So this comes from, this is a one page template. You can just print it out, fill it out, and then it has this picture, and I'm gonna cover this picture with you. Before I get into it, I'm gonna explain where it comes from. It comes from this book called The Hero's Two Journeys, which you can get on Amazon, or Audible, uh, buy it on Amazon, listen to it on Audible for only six bucks. And I really encourage you to do that because this is coming from uh, two Hollywood screenwriters that have a lot of in-depth experience about creating movies and writing these scripts for these movies that are huge movies that uh, impact a ton of people. And so if, you, if it works for movies, it'll really work for you and your oral boards. Uh, this also, the picture comes from this book here called Expert Secrets. So this picture here, this picture uh, talks about the hero's two journeys, but it's in this book here, uh, just to give credit to that book also, even though he's referencing this. And then finally, this is all part of the promotion playbook, which is currently a work in progress, but it's something I've come up with to help as many firefighters, uh, help the right, the right fire service, firefighters, engineers, captains, chiefs, to get to that next level and to provide something else because from my experience, uh, for me and promoting in the fire service, is that uh, when it, for me with promoting, it was like, there's a lot of stuff about strategy and tactics and uh, not a whole lot of stuff about good communication, how to prepare specifically for a test. And then also uh, the really important part of this book talks about the importance of really good communication skills. And a really big part of communication skills is being able to tell a good story. And so that's what this template's gonna help you with. Quick summary of promotion playbook. We have the mindset, which helps you get in the right place for the test uh, in your mind, in your heart. And then we have the skill set, uh, the skills that you need specifically for the test. And then also, and then the strategy is like, how do you prepare yourself properly for the test? Because a lot of people fail to test because they don't put in enough work towards it. So enough on that, here's the template. I'm gonna make it a full page. And this is the picture, I'll explain the picture and I'll show you the template. And then I really encourage you to listen to that book, The Hero's Two Journeys, because it's gonna help you better understand this. So I'm gonna start here, right here, if you look just above my head, uh, is there is the character, the desire, and the conflict. Everything comes down to these three elements. So if you get nothing else from this video, realize every time you tell a story, build upon these three elements. So what's the character? Most likely in oral boards, it's gonna be you talking about this. Uh, what's the character? What's their desire? What's their clear specific desire? And then what is it that gets in the way? The purpose of conflict is to build emotion. And the purpose of a really good oral board is that you answer the questions, but you do it in a way that creates an emotional response from the audience. So if you can elicit an emotional response from the people evaluating your oral board, the chances of you scoring uh, great scores are way higher. So you have to get your content, and we have other templates to help you get the right type of content so you can get all your knowledge, your skills, your ability, your training, your education, you get all that stuff, but how you present that really matters uh, almost equally as much as the content that you have. So it's really important that you put it together in a way that relates to the audience, you're going to do that by creating a story that has a lot of conflict. So here's the elements of this picture. So this is called The Hero's Two Journeys. And again, the book's going to help more. But the basic part is you start with your character. Now to build a character with rapport, I'll start and I'll be the character. I'm going to show you my experience of promotion. So for me with promoting is that at the time of this recording, I'm a captain. And um, my first captain's test didn't go so well. Uh, my first captain's test was that I went into it kind of arrogant. I had a bachelor's degree. I think I had like maybe, uh, maybe like five, maybe I had like six or seven years total in the fire service. And I was like, ah, you know, I feel like I, I put a lot of hard work into it, uh, into the career. I felt I was ready for the company officer move. And I was likable person because I had a lot of, I had a lot of friends, a lot of people I got along well with. And I think my character in this story was that like, I was likable, maybe just a little bit more ambitious than I needed to be at the time, but I was this likable character. I got along with my crew, I got along with my friends, and uh, 
kind of easy going, but I was ready to promote. So my desire was over here. So here's the character, younger me in the fire service. And um, I was a firefighter paramedic and I was like, I'm gonna promote, I'm gonna skip the, the engineer step. I'm gonna go right to, right to captain. I wanted to win uh, was my desire. Some other desires that, they, that um, these characters can have is to rescue something, to escape from something, or to stop. So to escape uh, from slavery, or to stop some big monster from coming and overtaking the city. Again, I encourage you to listen to that book and elaborate these more, but these are the four desires that the character can have, and you wanna have a clear, specific desire. So my desire was to uh, promote, and the conflict came right here in the center because I uh, wasn't ready at that time, and I failed the test. And the conflict was that I thought I could do well at the test, I didn't prepare well enough, um, I didn't have the right type of experience at the time, and uh, I went to that assessment center, even though I had all the qualifications to test, I fumbled through that assessment center, I botched it, and it was a, it was a painful experience. So that was the conflict, and from there, I had to build from that failure, uh, perceived failure, and I had to kind of uh, mature and grow into the position. And then my ultimate resolve was that I did finally end up testing in 2016. I placed number one on the captain's list. I was in a move up engineer role for several years and really got to understand that position. And then I, I promoted. And the biggest part was that I hit this outcome, but it's more down here is um, the second journey. So the first journey is this, is this external achievement. So, so promotional test, but the internal journey is who you become in the process. So it's this old identity into this essence of this new belief. And so for me, my captain's test was, uh, my first one sucked, but it led to this journey to where I was successful at it. And me being successful there has then led me to this desire to give and to grow and to enable others and empower others, possibly like you, if you're the right person, you're here for the right reasons, you're testing because you want to be better at your career and help people in the process, then uh, I get some of my greatest reward by being able to help others. So the old belief was that I'm gonna test for myself. The new belief was that I'm gonna test so I can grow and I can help others. And with that belief, I did a lot better at the test and have done well in the position as a result. So uh, the first journey achievement, the second one is transformation. So here is the picture. Again, I recommend those two books. And the first journey, external. Second journey, internal. It's not, the key phrase here is that it's not about the goal, it's about who you become in the process. So I encourage this for the right people to get in the right positions. I'm not, this book does not exist to help people promote just for the sake of getting more money or getting into a different position. It's about, uh, I'm really interested in you being the best version of yourself possible and growing into that. So it's not about the goal, it's about who you become in the process and being able to tell that story well. So here it is, so here's the elements and here's uh, the form to fill out. So you print this out and practice it. If any of it doesn't make sense, character, desire, conflict, resolve. Character, desire, conflict, resolve. Just get really good at the basics and that, that will capture most of it. That being said, we'll go down here, the character. So here's how you build on the character. So what's the backstory of the setting? Like I said, I was a firefighter. I, I've been in the career for, we'll just say six years. I had a bachelor's degree. I had a fair amount of experience as a paramedic, TRT. Um, I was involved in all these committees. I was younger. I was like, really ambitious and I was like, all right, I'm ready for captain, I'm ready to do it. Um, I was liked by a lot of my peers, had a good sense of humor, uh, and I could build on that more if I really wanted to build up this story. My old belief was that um, I felt that I could do it because um, I could be successful because I had a hard work ethic and it's about me, I wanted to win. My desire, I wanted to win at promotion. And so here's the external win, the external, dis uh, the external achievement here, but the, the, I'm gonna move over here because my eye contact's a little bit, still trying to figure it out with this camera. So the, um, so the internal desire was I wanted to promote what I thought, or that was the external. Internally, I thought this would give me more status at work. It would give me more, uh, more connection and love with my family and my peers. And then I could also give and grow 
but it also would give me more adventure, more opportunities, and then more safety. So these are the six human needs. This is something I added to it, but this does a good example of what the internal desires are. We all have a desire for safety, but we also have a desire for adventure. They kind of oppose each other sometimes. The other one, we all have a desire for status and significance and importance, but we also have this desire for love and connection. If we spend all day with our family and our kids, um, if that's not our career, it might have an impact on our advancement in our careers or our money situation. If we spend all the time at work, we may get great status, but we may not feel loved and connected with our families or other people. You think about like, you think about like superstars is like their status is huge, but it's going to be hard for them to find people that they can relate with um, at like a deep level. So status and love, everybody wants to be congruent with their status and everybody wants to be loved. And then here is the spiritual needs is to give and to grow. We all have this desire to give and to contribute. And we also have this desire to grow and to mature in the process. So external desire, internal desire, when you hit the conflict. So for me, my desire was to have more status, more love, more connection uh, through the promotion. And then I failed the promotion and I can remember after failing it, how, uh, the HR lady, her name was Mandy, the one at the time, and she gave me this, this piece of paper, and it's like, you suck, basically. It was, I, I read the piece of paper, I saw my results, I saw where I landed on the list, I didn't even make the list. Somebody that I started out working with was successful. I was not, I can remember seeing these results, um, seeing the disappointment, the discouragement on my family's face. I was disappointed in myself, and it felt like, so what did you see? What did you hear with this pain? And what did it feel like? So for me, it felt like I got hit with a ton of bricks. It felt like I got punched in the face. Um, it felt like I was drowning in water and nobody was there to save me. It felt like I was at the end of my rope. Metaphors help a lot when it comes to feeling. So think of a good metaphor when you're telling your story of what it feels like. So it feels like, and then you could say that as part of your story. So I hit this wall and it felt like I got hit by a Mack truck on the freeway and I was on a little bicycle and I got smashed with the reality that I was not prepared for that promotion and I took it personal and it was a, a really painful experience. Fortunately, this led to my desire to grow and to learn and to mature into the role. And eventually, the end of my story was that I promoted and I tested number one in 2016 on the captain's test. And I did it. Not only did I do it, but the guy that I trained with, he got number, I, he got in, he got number three. Someone split us. But the, the guy I got to work with got number three. And then since then, I've gone on to help my brother promote up at Flagstaff Fire to Captain, my cousin with Tucson uh, Northwest Fire, uh, and several other peers that I work with and around the state of Arizona uh, in terms of promoting in the fire service and being there at those badge pinnings to see, uh, see people promote fills me up with this, this sense of, of contribution and growth and also love and connection um, in the process. So the new identity, so the, the essence in the new identity is that I've learned is that it's not about my success, it's about me empowering others to be successful. And that's the transition of this story. May not follow the story the best, I'm kind of teaching through it, but character, which is also the beginning, their desire, the conflict that happens, and then the resolve at the end. And hopefully there's this transformative experience that happens where you have this new belief at the end of your story. So Print this out, practice, write it out. We may tweak it some as it evolves, but uh, do this. I recommend listening to the Heroes 2 Journeys and then reach out to us for the promotion playbook. If you don't have it right now, you can uh, reach out to me to get it or I'll put a link below this video if you're seeing this on YouTube or wherever you see this. I'll make sure there's access so that you can get the book. I'm giving the book as a way for free of my way of giving back to, um, to the community and uh, kind of to pay it forward for all the people that helped me because a big part of my success when I was successful at the captain's test was because I had a lot of great mentors that poured into me. Thanks for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Talk to you later.